Hey everyone, it's Mr. Wildboy94. My sleeve is rolled up and it bothers me. It's why you see me start a lot of videos where I have to adjust my sleeves. It's weird. I don't like it. Uh, anyway, I have a review here for another HP Lovecraft story from the Complete Fiction Barnes & Noble Leatherbound copy. Of course, you guys see this in every single review for this. I've done about two or three so far. One for Beast in the Cave, one in uh, The Alchemist, and now we have The Tomb, which is the third story in here. I wonder later on if I'm gonna get tired enough where I won't be saying like this is the fifth story or the 65th story as I go on throughout these reviews. But anyway, the tomb is about nine pages long and I've read this one quite a bit in the past and I've never thoroughly been impressed by it. Again, it's one of the ones like the previous one, The Alchemist, that and very much commonly with my opinion towards Lovecraft most of the time. I like the concept most of the time. I'm not really thrilled with the execution most of the time, but I typically find myself like I said with the Alchemist review, being very middle of the road with Lovecraft. I don't hate him at all. I don't hate his review, or his, excuse me, his content at all. I don't hate his work pretty much at all. It's just a lot of the time it's execution. There are certain stories like The Beast in the Cave that I think are perfect as they are, and a lot of that kind of contributes to it being early H.P. Lovecraft, which The Beast in the Cave was, at least the first draft was. So for me personally, uh, I think the tomb has a weird necromancer, uh, kind of a fantasy feel to it, which a lot of people think Lovecraft is famous for, for like sci-fi and kind of a weird fantasy type of thing, weird fiction as you know, and that's cool and fine, but this one really I think hits that more than The Alchemist and The Beast in the Cave do. Uh, if you like that kind of thing, if you like that kind of dark fantasy type of thing, this will apply, I think, more to you and your taste than it would mine. I'm just a horror fan, I don't really care, as long as I'm creeped out or I'm enjoying or entertained or whatever, I don't care. Um, so, of course, we have a basic protagonist just kind of talking about his life. Um, essentially, he lives in kind of a castle type of thing, and he's kind of wandering around in the backyard or the woods behind the house or whatever, and he happens to find a tomb that's built into the hillside of a particular area, and uh, he can't get it open. Of course, it's like chained up, and the hinges are kind of a certain way they're buckled, and you know, the, the door is just slightly open, just slightly enough that he can kind of just see nothing but darkness inside of this tomb. He doesn't really know what it is or whose bodies are in there, what family. You know, usually you have a big old tomb, it's a family of people. He doesn't really know anything about it. And uh, he kind of becomes obsessed with this tomb. He kind of finds himself almost day after day going out to this place, visiting this, trying to figure out more about it. And uh, eventually he tries to get inside of it. And that goes a whole new route. <laughs> it gets weird. Some of the townsfolk may or may not be seeing him doing it. He doesn't really know. It's a, again, a weird story for weird fiction. If you like this kind of dark fantasy, again, necromancer type of thing, it's probably going to be more for you than it was for me. I just found this one kind of dull. Uh, it's kind of like Dagon. I'm not really thrilled with the Dagon. I have to review that immediately after this video, too. I'm just not thrilled with that story. It has its moments, just like this story has its moments, but the tomb overall, I feel like, just doesn't thrill me the way I think it, it thrills a lot of people. A lot of the reviews I listened to today when I was at work, and I had a whole playlist of people who had reviewed this story, and thank God didn't summarize the stupid thing, because um, a lot of people do that. It drives me nuts uh, with go with GooTube, with YouTube reviews. Uh, anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Just like a lot of Lovecraft stuff, for me and my taste in fiction, is just fine. I don't love the execution of it. It's a little bit mixed bag. Again, first person style, every single person in the book uh, and every single story of Lovecraft's history from what I've read, except for Herbert West, are going to talk the exact same. If you don't like one story of Lovecraft, you're probably not going to like this one. Uh, there are certain ones I recommend, like I said, like The Beast in the Cave, but The Tomb is not one of them for me personally. It's just fine. I think I like The Alchemist more than I like this, but I think this one has a better concept than The Alchemist had. Does that make sense? That I like one story's execution over top of another, even though I'm not thrilled with both? Uh, that That's just me. <laughs> that's where I stand on this. Anyway, The Tomb. It probably doesn't sound super thrilling. It could probably be a really great, uh, since this is in the public domain now, it could be a really cool reboot, remake thing if somebody wanted to rewrite this thing. That could be really cool. Somebody should do that. You viewer should do that. Anyway, when it comes to the tomb and this big old tomb of a collection, uh, if I had to rate the book, or is it supposed to be Tome? T-O-M-E. I don't know. I don't care. It's Friday. I don't care. Uh, anyway, I'm sorry. I have a lot of sassiness tonight. I dealt with a lot tonight at work. Anyway, when it comes to the tomb, it's a three out of five stars for me, if I had to rate it on a five star basis. Three out of five stars. I don't really recommend it. I don't really love it or hate it or anything like that. It's just, this one's not as good 
as the Alchemist. The Alchemist I kind of rated more. It's close to a four, but it doesn't really get there for me on a five star basis. But this one is like a straight up three, like just across the board, it's a three for me. Anyway, what are your thoughts on the tomb? What are your thoughts on the Alchemist, the Beast in the Cave, all that? What's your favorite Lovecraft story? I'd like to hear that down below too. Thank you for watching, guys. God bless you all, and goodbye.